I'm on the 2K showcase and I'm Matches playing the casting match. It's not okay. about titles here tonight. It's oh all about Kane getting some I've retribution from a morbidly time. disgusting yes. human being. And why exactly is Triple H morbidly all the, uh, disgusting? Because of the disgusting, salacious uh, video tape that he aired last week on this broadcast. Oh Did you hear how his leg connected? Oh, oh, talk about getting flat. Struggling for control. Kane is just building momentum. Collar and elbow tie up. Here we go with Kane. No, not again. Uh, I don't care about these names. Nailed with yeah, that boot. You can't get Keep your eye on this one. What's this? Casket matches are usually like uh, no DQ. Yeah, now with complete control, the game avoids trouble there. Yeah, That's Triple H saw that one coming a mile away. Last week, right here on Raw, Kane and his tag team partner Rob Absolutely. Van Dam beat Triple H and Ric Flair, following an RVD five-star frog splash onto the nature. But the real story came after the match when Kane locked Triple H in the trunk of his car and drove off. Luckily for the game, he was able to eventually break free. I can only imagine what would have happened if Triple H had remained locked in that trunk. Triple H doing a great job of turning that around. Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. Oh, short shot to the throat. That'll leave a mark. He catches him with the axe handle. Watch it. Ooh. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. What's the game going to do here? Oh, the reversal. Oh. You know, even I'm surprised that the Lynx Triple H. Looking. Yeah, I'm looking. Has gone to to get inside Kane's head. Some of the things he's done this past few weeks have been pretty offensive. And the kicker of it all is that he knows they're out. He's out. Yeah, it's a circle when you were prompted and they had to take you over into the past. So basically, yeah, just stay down. Just beat him up. Hmm. Um, and Kane, I'm going to put Triple H away. Triple H still goes down low. And now Triple H looking for the pedigree. Oh, and he got it. Pedigree by Triple H. Yeah, so basically you just gotta pick his butt. That casket is open! He's the casket! Oh my god! Oh my god. Look at this! Who was in the casket? Shawn Michaels was in the casket! Heartbreak Kid was in the oh, casket! TBK comes out of the casket to become Triple H's worst nightmare! Get him We haven't seen Shawn Michaels since SummerSlam! Oh, he's back! Michaels is feeling it! Oh, look at this! Tune it up the band! Music. The Heartbreak Kid, center stage. The showstopper to stop the show for Triple H. So, kick his butt. Chokes what a kick that was. Get him over Bam, another stop. kick. It'll tell you. Like, He's putting those educated feet to good use. Okay, so, it's going to tell me to hit circle? Yeah, it's going to tell you to hit circle, basically, is what it said. Okay, said yeah. It's I gotta use to stick his ass. Good God! It's a pressing a single button to move that fast? Hit your face there, hit circle, and you pump it, and AI will roll him over. Oh, that's a nice kick! Oh, that's a nice kick! Have you ever been in a casket pole? Have you ever had a casket oh lid close on you? Yeah, no, why the world would I ever have been in a casket? Well, I have. And I can tell you that it's absolutely horrifying. Every time I've been around a casket, it's never been a pleasant and, uh, experience. So I can imagine what it must be like to be really trapped right in there alive. Like he, this is the first casket match on Monday Night like, Raw since 1999. How great is this, Cole? May 17th, 1999. Undertaker defeated The Rock in a rare Raw casket match, thanks in part to Triple H's interference. Well, of course, who will ever forget after the match when Triple H took a sledgehammer to the casket? So that's it. He's done. Look at this. Yeah, it's, it's probably mm. actually hit circle. This match yeah, is not go. over. And oh, Kane gonna oh. take advantage. Oh, Kane wins. He's thrown Triple H into the casket. Oh, 